Hello, this is CCSG Corp, and today we will be demonstrating how to perform a password recovery and firmware update on DVR Unit HA-1648. First, we will demonstrate how to perform a password recovery. In case you ever forget your password, or your password is not working for your DVR unit, follow these steps in order to create a new one. Take note of the current time and date on your DVR unit, as displayed here at the top left of the screen. This will be important in recovering your password. On your computer, open up a program called Calculate Code. Calculate Code will create a temporary universal password for you. Enter in the time and date retrieved earlier to receive your temporary password, usually a six-digit number. This password is only usable within a 15-minute window. Once you are past that 15-minute window frame, you must enter in a new date and time to retrieve another password. Enter in the password you received from Calculate Code into the password field of your login screen. You should be able to log in with this. Once you are in, right-click and go to Menu. You will need to restore the factory defaults of your unit. Go to Tools and then Default. Click OK to restore the factory defaults of your unit. From there, once your system has been rebooted, you will be able to create a new password for user access control. We recommend that you record and store your password in a secure place. Now we will be demonstrating how to perform a firmware update. Plug in your USB drive with the firmware update stored on it into the front USB port of your unit. Make sure your USB drive is compatible with the unit. Refer to your user's manual for more information on USB drive compatibility. Once everything is set up, go to Menu, Tools, and then Upgrade. Make sure the target is set to main board and method is set to USB. Click OK to begin the firmware update. While the unit is upgrading, please make sure not to take out the USB drive and do not turn off the power of the unit or else the unit may crash. It will take a few minutes to update your system. Once the system is updated, we recommend that you restart your system to the factory defaults to ensure everything works properly. Go to Menu, Tools, and then Default. This will restore the factory defaults of your system. Once your system reboots, your unit should be properly updated. And that's it. Thank you for watching.